This here is Ochentoshin at 21 years old. It's the oldest bottling in our standard range and I really think um, it brings together all the elements of flavour that you've seen in all the previous whiskies. The classic, you get the sweetness of the barley. At the 12 year old, you begin to get that slightly nutty character. Move up through to the 18 and you get the spiciness. And I think the 21 year old just shows influences and flavours associated with all of these previous three. It's at 43% and I really think, you know, when you get to a whisky that's 21 years old, you think you've lost 40 odd percent to evaporation or the angel's share. The action of the air against the whisky really softens it down, it makes it more gentle. And I really think that this is one whisky I would suggest that you, you drink on its own. Um, Definitely at 21 years old, it, it's, a, it's a distinct product. 21 years old has a, a, great, um, a great reputation around the world and it's also a recognised age. And if people ask me to sum this up to them, then I say it's like a summer's day in Scotland. And, and it's not a thing I like to use as cliches, but I'll explain this to you more when, when we taste the whisky. At 21 years old, there's a mix of bourbon and sherry casks in there, although it is predominantly bourbon casks that we are using. So it really does polish very gently this whisky. It gives you a really elegant and long finishing whisky. This time the sweetness maybe changes something more towards heather honey. There's some floral notes coming through in there. There's a little bit of mintiness coming through. You can taste the clear, clean, fresh bracken. Um, so it really does typify all the flavours that you would associate with a summer's day in Scotland, if you can ever find one. Um, now if you taste this, the interesting thing is that this is the, the lightest malt whisky in Scotland today through its unique triple distillation. But even at 21 years old, you don't taste wood, and that's a sign of good maturation. You taste the sweetness of that heather honey. It then gets a little bit floral, some green grass coming in there and then the sweetness of the malted barley and then you just get that slight spiciness coming through at the back of the tongue. I really think that this is a whisky for special occasions.